Hi folks, uh, now let's talk about egalitarian rule. So for any bargaining problem SD, the egalitarian rule is going to be, uh, is, is defined as follows, it's uh, arg max. So X is, the payoffs are coming from individual to rational, the set of individual to rational and feasible payoffs. And it basically minimizes and then maximizing this min function. All right, so it's very similar to Kalai Smordinsky. The only difference is we don't have the aspiration point. Uh, what it does is basically the egalitarian rule basically provides the maximum individually rational payoff profile, payoff vector, which gives each agent equal gain from the disagreement point, uh, from their dis disagreement payoff. Right, so x1 minus d1 is how much player one is gonna get on top of his disagreement. x2 minus d2, how much agent two is gonna get uh, uh, on top of his disagreement point. So think it this way, the bargaining is like a cake that they are going, you know, the negotiators are gonna share. If they don't share it, or if they cannot make an agreement, they're gonna get their disagreement points. So sharing this cake, basically means they're going to get something on top of their disagreement points. Well, how should I distribute this additional thing, additional surplus, on top of these guys' uh, disagreement points? Well, Kalai Smordinsky was distributing it in such a way that the, 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 the distribution in respect to the agent's aspiration points are, 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 are related, all right? Uh, the ratio should kept the same. Here, it doesn't care about the ratio. It says, well, if I'm going to distribute this additional surplus between these agents, well, I have to distribute it equally. So the equality is what matters, all right? Um, so I think it makes more sense when we look at those simple examples we keep repeating for other bargaining rules. The geometrically, what the egalitarian rule does is basically it draws a 45 degree line, okay, uh, over the bargaining set. So this is 45 degree line. And obviously that is x2 equals x1 line. Same here, x2 equals x1 line. And then basically picks this point because this is the point where x1 minus d1 and x2 minus d2 are the same right and same here x1 minus d1 x2 minus d, d2 are the same so i'm not going to solve it because the kalai smordinsky outcomes and the egalitarian rule outcomes are exactly the same so here the egalitarian rule is going to suggest one half one half and here the egalitarian rule is going to suggest uh, I'm, I'm going to round the numbers 0 0.62, 0 0.62 uh, payoff wise. Okay, uh, well, here's the theorem by Kalai, 1977. A bargaining rule satisfies weak proto optimality, symmetry, translation invariance, and strong monotonicity if and only if it is the egalitarian rule. So we have another characterization. That theorem basically says egalitarian rule is actually a good rule, but the goodness depends on the axioms you define. So here, if you remember the Kalai Smordinsky and the Nash bargaining, we had different set of axioms. Uh, here we have weak proto-optimality, not proto-optimality, because it doesn't satisfy proto-optimality. We have symmetry, which is what we had in the Nash and Kalai Smordinsky. We don't have so we have two new axioms, translation invariance, strong monotonicity. Well, if you think those are acceptable or reasonable assumptions or axioms, well, then you know what? There's only one rule which satisfies all these four properties, and it's the egalitarian rule, which basically distribute, again, the surplus between the players, negotiators, equally. So now let's talk about these two axioms.